Alrighty, so today we are actually going to draw Huey, Dewey, and Louie from Disney's newest DuckTales. It's not new, it's just back. So we're going to go ahead and draw these three brothers. So they're all pretty simple and they all, they're all, they're triplets so they look the same. So I'm going to go ahead and each of their heads are like a rounded off square. I have one here and now we're going to put one right here. Another rounded off square. Another rounded off square. Let's go ahead and start right here. So I'm still going to go ahead and give that eye line. And their eye line, where the bottom of their eyes are going to go, is right at the bottom. Jump over here, do the exact same thing right here. Eye line. And then jump over here, do the exact same thing looking this way. And an eye line. So we're going to make the eyes on Louie first. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a shape like that, not too far up. Jump over here, bring this down, then round it off the bottom. Like his eyes are closed. And then we, you're gonna jump in here, make his pupil off to the side just a little bit, and then they have the diamond, like that little pie cut in his eyes. And you're gonna go ahead and fill that in. And then you're going to jump over here, do the same thing, and then that shine in his eye is that pie cut once again. Love the pie cuts in the eyes again because that's really awesome old quality that the old Disney cartoons used to have. After this, I want to go in the middle of his eyes, bring out his duck bill kind of close to the edge of his face. So you're going to go in the middle of his eyes and create that point, come over to this side. And you're going to round off the top of his bill, then go up, bring it upwards like a smile, and then I'm going to go back to this point, and go back over here, round off that smile, kind of like a clown face almost, not too scary though, I'm going to round that back around go under and connect underneath his bill then I'm going to go ahead and jump up here make one eyebrow jump over here make another eyebrow after his eyebrows I'm gonna go ahead and jump off to the side up here Bring out his feathers to kind of look like a hairdo. Sweep it in across his eyebrow. And let's go ahead and jump to Huey. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make normal circles, taking up almost the entirety of his face much larger than the ones over here that we drew. And the bottom of them are on that eye line that I created. We're gonna go to the middle again and make a point. And this one's not gonna be as drastic as this one, how the bill is going out towards the edge of his face is actually going to go right there. And then it's gonna go in, round off the bill again. And we're gonna go back to make that smile, bring it upwards. And then I'm gonna jump back over here off to the side. We're gonna go ahead and round it off, kind of like that clown face again. go down and up into his bill 
So this is more of a quarter turn and his bill's out a little further and then this one's a little bit closer in so since we're kind of looking front on to him, just we're looking right on at him. We're gonna go right back in and make his pupils. But when we get to the shine of his eye, I'm gonna go ahead and give them that pie crust cut out, that pie cut out. So they have one pupil. I'm gonna jump over here. So this is where we make a little bit more white space. Back off to the side. Pie crust. So we almost have the exact same kind of hairstyle over here. So I'm gonna bring out the feather on top, bring this up, bring this one inwards, a little bit of a gap, bring this one downwards, and then he has a hat on. So I'm gonna jump up off the top of this feather right here. So I'm going to bring this upwards, round it, and then bring it down. So it just looks like another rounded off square. And then I'm actually going to jump over here, round this down to the side of his head, and then connect to the bill, like it's just off to the side of his face. Go ahead and give the, I don't know the anatomy of a hat, but it's always got that button on top. And his hat is broken up into three parts. So it's like red, pink, red, and then the bill of his hat is red. But I'm actually going to jump to the side of this, the side of his hat, of his bill, and give a little bit more definition to it. Round off that side, but everything else is pretty flat. And his head will actually go back into the hat. And then there's just this part, which is probably representing the inside of his hat, and it's black. And of course we have to give him eyebrows, so I'm going to jump above right here, one eyebrow here, and then one eyebrow right there. So let's jump over to Dewey, and Dewey's eyes, he has a little bit more attitude, so I'm going to go ahead and make that circle like we did over here. So we make a circle, oval shape, and then a circle right here. Then you're actually going to cut off the top by giving a little bit more attitude. I'm sure he's not mean, he just looks pretty. <laughs> he's just got, he's got some attitude going on. So we're gonna go ahead and give him eyebrows. So his eyebrows are actually cutting down into his eyes. Make sure these are even, they already don't look even. So we're going to go back up into the middle, make that point, bring out his bill. He's, he's not exactly a quarter turn over here, he's more like this, this kind of turn. So we're looking more at him front on, so his bill's going to be a little bit closer and not so far off over here. Bring that back in, round it up. His mouth is actually open, so we're gonna go ahead and make that smile. And then I'm actually gonna go back off to the point and just follow that line. Another clown face, and bring this down, all the way down past his face. And then I'm gonna go up and then in make these a little bit rounder, not so angly. And then I'm gonna go back to this point where our clown face is, bring this down. And I'm gonna go ahead and mirror that side just to show that he has an open mouth. Then we have his tongue that's in his mouth. We can go ahead and fill in the rest. Need to give him some pupils, so his one his pupils are off to the side. So we're gonna draw the pupil and then make that little pie cut. Keep calling it a pie crust, it's a pie cut. So we get really close over here, pie cut for the shine, and close off the pupil, pie cut, and a pie cut. And then fill it in. 
since he has since he has a little bit more attitude he's got his hair kind of slicked back so we have one piece of feather off to the side and then the other feathers are kind of slicked back and we got a division right here and a division right here and then we go ahead and just there we go there's our little cow lick of feathers on top of his head so let's shape up their faces just a little bit more. They're not too square and they're not too circular. But I'm just kind of shaping them to look a little bit more boxier. And let's start from here, from this face. You're gonna go ahead underneath his bill, make a neck, bring this one down, and then bring this one down. We're gonna jump over here, do the exact same thing. Shape up his face just a little bit more, make it rounder instead of so boxy bring this down bring this one down and then underneath his bill a neck jump over here we're going to bring out his face just a little bit more off to the side make this flow in and then underneath his open mouth bill we're going to go ahead Bring down this neck. So let's start with Louis's outfit. Pretty simple, it's a hoodie. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop off his neck with a V-neck. And then I'm gonna go off to the side, bring off that hoodie, and I'm gonna bring this around. And there's the hood to his outfit. And then I'm gonna bring down his chest, and then round out his bottom. Bring down his chest and you're going to round out his stomach just a little bit. And from this part, I'm actually going to, from this part of his hood, I'm going to bring up his shoulder, make that line for his shoulder. And then his arms are tucked into the pouch of his hoodie. So that pocket, so we're just going to make like his arms are tucked inside of his pocket. So I make a line here. And then make a line right here and then close off that side and that way we can go ahead and make that the pocket of his hoodie and then we're going to jump off to the side since this side of his pockets right here I'm gonna go ahead and make his arm like this this crease of his elbow make that crease and then I'm gonna jump off from his hoodie make his elbow and it's just gonna go right into that other side of his pocket on his hoodie. So I'm gonna go underneath his arm, round this up. I'm gonna round off, this is his entirety of his body, his belly, and it's actually gonna go up into his elbow. And this hoodie is actually gonna come down to here. Then I'm gonna go underneath after his hoodie is completed, I'm gonna go underneath, and this is his bottom, and then we're gonna get to his tail feathers off to the side right here. So I'm gonna bring this down, and his tail feathers aren't that hard, they're just like little spikes like we did with his hair. You just wanna give him the, the impression he's a duck. <laughs> and then we have one little leg here, and then one little leg right here. And you're actually going to make the impression of a pocket in his hoodie. You're going to make this part. And then you're going to go ahead and just line the bottom just to give it that sweatshirt feel. So let's jump to Dewey and his outfit. And he's just wearing a collared shirt. Super cute. And he's got his hands on his hips so it's not too complicated. We're going to make a V-neck once again to his neck. Bring out this side. We're gonna bring out this side of his collar. And this one's pretty easy. It's just gonna be, we're gonna go off to the side and just go up and connect. And this is just gonna go up, off to the side, and then down. Just to kind of make it look like it's a folded in collar. And now I'm gonna jump down just a little ways from here and bring out his tummy. Kind of bring this back in. Back up into here. So he looks kind of like a weird rounded triangle. So 
So we're going to bring out one arm. And here's his sleeve. It's a short sleeve. And we're going to bring out his elbow. And it's going into his body because his hands are on his hips. We have a crease. And then it goes back in. And since it's on his hip, we're going to curl this downward. Jump on top to right here. Bring this off to the side. Bring it in. So we go out just a little bit. Bring this in. And curl that back inward. And there's a folded hand right there. And then from off his collar, you're going to make another short sleeve. And that's going to go inwards. We have another elbow right there. Bring this down. Curve this into a ball. And I made the other side of his arm. So here's the other side of his arm curving into a ball, and then his elbow. Make sure those sleeves are even on each side. So I'm going to make, for his hand, I'm going to make the crease of his hand. And then it's going to go, we're going to make one, after the crease of his hand, we're going to make one finger here, bring it down into that end of that ball another finger here and then his thumb is actually covering his his last finger they only have four fingers so we're gonna bring out his thumb bring it out and then we're gonna make a little line to indicate that his thumb is over his forefinger so it's pointer finger so there we have I'm round this up just a little bit more so we have his folded in hand bring down his bottom and we can still see his tail feathers so we got a little tail feather here and a little tail feather here nothing too crazy and round off his bottom and then bring down one leg here one leg here let's jump to Dewey who has a rounded collar so we're gonna round off his neck we have one shoulder here and one shoulder here and his arms are crossed so let's start with his arms so we're going to start with this side bring down his arm and it's going to go out to the side just a little bit cross this upward and we're going to bring down the side of his shirt and then right here we're just going to circle this off because this will be his fist that's because he has crossed arms and then I'm going to bring up this side of his arm and then his hand's going to go right here and it's going to be tucked into the crook of his elbow so I'm actually going to bring out his elbow off to the side bring this out and it's going to connect and there's his whole arm and we have to go ahead and make that crook of his elbow and then you bring down this side now he actually has like a short sleeve over a long sleeve shirt so we're going to give him the short sleeves on each side and then we already have like the indication he's wearing a long sleeve so you just want to go ahead and give him at least a couple of fingers so by making those lines in that fist I just indicated that those are fingers and you're actually I'm just going to lightly draw through this side bring out his shirt it's gonna go up and into that elbow it's not his elbow it's like his upper arm and I actually made Huey too tall they should all have the same height so this one needs to be closer so 
So I rounded off that edge over here. Give him his feathers. They all should be the same height because they're triplets and they're exactly the same. Oh, they like, well they have their differences. But I'm gonna go ahead and draw those legs again. And I'm gonna jump over here, give him some legs at least. We have one leg here and one leg here. And if you ever need help, just know that Louie is green, Dewey is blue, and Huey is red. So if you ever, <laughs> like me, it's hard to tell them apart. But yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I hope you all watched the DuckTales that's been. It's back. It's awesome. I used to watch DuckTales all the time when I was little, the original DuckTales. So yes, I hope you all check it out. I'll see you all later. Bye!